Hello there. This is workout number eight. And then, come the end of this week, you'll have done your eight week challenge, if you're doing them in order. So, shall we crack on? This is your full body resistance workout. So, 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, three times round for each exercise, okay? So once you've done one exercise, we're moving on to the other, easy peasy. Right, have you started your smartwatch? Tell them that you've done your exercise. Right then, remember, deadlifts first. I've got to start my timer. Ready, set, go. So, shoulders back and down. <sighs> nice neutral posture, equal pressure. Through those feet, activate the bum. <sighs> Use the core. Rearrange your arms if you need to and keep the shoulders, breathe in, pinned back. So remember, a deadlift is a bit like a hinge of the hip, really. So make sure that the sit bones going out right behind you and your lower back is not rounding. Only go to a point if you are finding it a struggle, some of us have got tight hamstrings, to only go as far as your back can stay neutral. So remember, breathing in on the way down. Exhale, squeeze. Breathe in. Exhale, up three seconds to go. Ah, my bum's already saying hello. Right, in between each one. Come down low if you want. Slacken it off a sec. Breathe. See, it's not so bad, is it? I might not be seeing this by the end of round three. Right, five seconds to go. Let's reset. Shoulders back and down. And go. Squeeze bum. Breathe in. Exhale, go. Breathe in. Engage that pelvic floor. Use those TAs to support your back and your core. So a deadlift is actually a butt and a leg workout, but it's also connected with all your back line, so your back's working. And if you're doing it right, your core's working. So it's a great all over exercise, this one. Deadlift is one of my favourites, it has to be said. Actively squeeze your bum. Now, having done a leg workout yesterday as well, my bottom is starting to say, hello. Keep going, ah, good. Round two, in the bag. Right, this is only because our fingers are getting squished. So, we've got 10 seconds left. And then we'll have done round three. And then we'll be into our front squat with our overhead press. So that's our side ones, okay? So, let's get ready, go. Breathe in, exhale, squeeze. Breathe in, oh, use that bum. So increase internal pressure. Use the core on the exhale. Breathe in. So engage the bum. Keep that back nice and straight. One other pointer that's key, shoulders back and down. We don't want any saggy arms. Breathe in, squeeze. Two seconds, last one coming up. Done, awesome job. Right, next up. We have got our handles in our hand. We are going just on the outside edge of the unit, but stay with your feet square on the unit. So this is our squat into our overhead press, okay? 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. So sitting here, breathe in, exhale press. Actively squeezing your bum on the way up. Use the core to help the press. Breathe in. Breathe in, but behind. So this is where you got to focus on making sure that your lower back is in the right position. Breathe in, but behind. Squeeze on the way up. Exhale up. Breathe in. Come on, squeeze that booty. Well done. Round one is done. Okay, give us his arm a shake. Wobble the bum a little bit. Work it off. Eight seconds. Oh man, the heart rate bonus is not picking me up. I'm apparently doing no work at all. Feels like I'm doing more though. Right, butt behind. Exhale and up. Breathe in. Exhale. So, another pointer here, keep the shoulders down. Oops. So we can easily do, ah, uh, there you go. But that's not doing the right job. Shoulders back and down, so when you come back to here, 
and drive up through the palms, okay? Breathe in. Exhale up. Remember, if it's getting too much, change the resistance of your band. I might be regretting this by the end of round three. Done. Okay. See, it's naughty, isn't it? Apparently I'm doing no work at all. I think I am, don't you? Right then. Okay, get yourself set for the next round. Five seconds to go. Reset those hands, shoulders back and down, no flaring of the ribs. Breathe in. Exhale up. Breathe in. So remember, actively squeeze your bum. Shoulders back and down. Breathe in. 15 seconds, guys. Breathe in. Exhale. Keep the palms facing out. My arms are on fire. Okay, I'm gonna quickly clip these on because I have a funny feeling <laughs> my technique's gonna go to pot if I do our Nordic ski with the heavy ones. So make sure you take the handles off, ready to go. There we go. Breathe in, exhale, little bob, exhale. Oh no, they're too easy. <laughs> but for those of you that are new to kind of your fitness routine, this is probably going to be perfect. I'm saying I feel like it's easy, but this is round one. So I'm going to stick with this. Little bob, exhale up. Breathe in, a little bob. But if nothing else, you can really feel that by doing a little bob and keeping going, shoulders back and down, don't round the back. You've got a really good workout going on here. It feels like you're working the entire time. I'm going to tempt fate. <laughs> I might regret this. But this is the beauty of the weight gym. You can play with what you're doing. One set you can try one thing, one set you can try the other. So let's see how we go here. So. So little bobs to get you up. Shoulders back and down. Send your bum behind. If you want to do that little bounce, <sighs> like you're doing a nice ski workout. Think snow, think pretty mountains. <sighs> Exhale, 16 seconds. <sighs> Keep that back in that right position. Don't let it start to go. <sighs> Keep going, <sighs> last one. <sighs> Done. I think I've got to switch back to the other one, guys. <laughs> See, you can play with it. You can adapt your uh, workout as you need to. It's the beauty of it, really. It's nice and compact. It's not like the kids are going to fall over it if you're working out around them. Right, let's go. <sighs> Exhale up. Suck up peanut. Move that pelvic floor. TA switched on. Back behind you, nice, neutral back. Keep that momentum going. If you want to speed up a wee bit, just remember to engage the core. You can change it and make it easier and harder, depending on how fast you go and the resistance of your band. Okay. Keep going, we've got seven seconds. A little bob, up we come. Shoulders back and down. Keep going, hey! Look, we just cracked out three rounds of that. Happy days. Okay, next up, we are going to be doing our alternating fly with our... Ah! Exhale across and then alternating raise. Breathe in, exhale. Exhale across, lift. Breathe in, exhale across, 
Breathe in, exhale, lift. Now again, you can see that the front raises. No problem with the middle band. Mm. Heavier band. My flies are a little bit questionable. So, change the height, keep the hips level. So if you wanted, at the point where we're resting, I only switch to another one, okay? So, nice and tall. Keep the hips and your shoulders as square as you can. It means you've got to really engage the core, okay? And modify the height of the fly if it's getting tricky and you're losing your technique. Exhale. Exhale. Lift. Lift. Breathe in. Across. Across. You can see that one of my arms is not quite as strong as the other. So always try and work to the weaker side, okay? Exhale. Breathe in. God, 10 seconds left. We're getting there, guys. Keep going. And across. Brilliant. Look, that's already two sets down. You can have arms of steel before you know it. Lovely little bit of shape. Summer arms coming on nicely. Right then, seven seconds. Let's crack this. And then we'll have done four exercises. And we're halfway through. Great job. Go. Exhale. Right, so the more I concentrate on my core, the stronger my fly. See? On that weak side, which is my right, apparently. Breathe in. So it's either my calves or my elbow at the moment. It's called age, I'm afraid, peeps. Exhale. Breathe in. Engage the core. Minimal twist of the hips. Shoulders down. Don't let them rise. Hey! That's it. We've just done three rounds of that. Right then. Now, quick as, quick as you can. We are going to attach our straps to our ankles because we have got our press up into our now our press into a donkey kick. So breathe in and up. Now you can do one press up, two knees, or press up, leg, press up, alternate leg. So it's up to you. One. So, can you remember the key thing to remember here though? Keeping that lower back in neutral for me, okay? Breathe in, exhale up. We can alternate it completely. So you'll be getting more press up in, but if you want more glute focus, do two donkey kicks per press up, okay? So, if you want, you can always change the resistance as well. So, I'm going to move to the outer one this time. Make sure that your knees are back a little bit so it gives a little bit more pressure here. Wrist over armpit. Breathe in. Exhale. Up. Up. Breathe in. Exhale. Up. Engage the core as you're doing this. So those deep tear muscles, like they're wrapping around or you zipping up your jeans, because then it will keep your lower back in a much better position. Breathe in, exhale. Keep those ribs and those hips stuck together, guys. Breathe in, keep going, <laughs> we're doing grand. So don't let that hip arch at all. Okay, now I'm feeling brave or stupid. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm going to attach another resistance band. Or if you want, you can just change the level. So if you've got two already attached to the side of your weight gym, you can then just swap them over. I might live to regret this. <laughs> so, certainly more resistance. But this is the beauty of it. You can add in as many bands as you want to each of these exercises. And you've got an infinite amount of resistance 
in this little box. <sighs> Exhale up. Don't overextend those hips and arch the lower back. I think I might be doing a slightly dodgy job with that. <sighs> Exhale up. Engage the core. Breathe in. Exhale. Good work, guys. One more. And then we're done with these guys. So, get ready. Okay. Nice neutral position. Right then. Press up, donkey kick, then we're done. Five crunches after this. Breathe in. Exhale. Up. Breathe in, exhale. Brilliant. Exhale up, hips staying level, no rounding. Exhale down, push through those palms. Corkscrew up. Got eight seconds, guys. The back end of the workout now, it's starting to get tricky. Keep going. Done, awesome job. Okay, exercise number six. So this is our cycle crunches. So keep the resistance bands on for me, or if you've got a couple on, change their resistance, okay? Right, quick shift round, and we've got our bicycle crunches. So, clip, unclip, reposition. Make sure that you're far enough away from your pieces of furniture that you're not going to kick them. So, we're in the right position. Three seconds to go. Bicycle crunches. Let's go. Now, to keep this controlled, I would like you to do one leg at a time so that you've got a really good connection with your core and your back is kept on the floor without any rounding of that lumbar, okay? Exhale, push out with those heels. Engage that core nicely. Now, if you're feeling like you've got it going on, you can start to go that little bit quicker. Okay, we're getting there, guys. You're doing grand. Okay, right then, side on. Breathe in. So we're gonna slow it down just a wee bit and make sure that our technique's really good. So leading with the heel. Wait for it. Ah, my thighs are on fire holding this position. Breathe in. Where are we gonna go? Off we go. Breathe in. So it's time under tension, remember? The more we hold these kind of isometric holds, the harder the muscles have got to work. So this position, holding it flexed, it's great work for those hip flexors and quads, especially after all the other work we've done. Breathe in. Keep those knees above the hips. And we want them in line. And if you're engaging your TAs well, you'll know that they're starting to work quite beautifully now. Okay, now if you're feeling a little bit game, you could always try doing them a bit quicker, or a version of what we did in a previous workout when we had both feet going out. So it all depends on what you want to try. So let's reset, so we're going to go now. Now what you can do for that full exhale, do as many bicycles as you can Engage in the core safely. And then you stop. Breathe in. Exhale and engage that core properly again. So this is picking up the tempo a little bit. But keeping the back and the core safe. Hey, we're done. Right, we've got to be quick because we've got mountain climbers next. So, quickly unhook. Put your weight gym wherever it's comfy. I'm going to shuffle around here. Hands on the side. Now remember, you can modify this however you want. One, two, you can have the tempo you want. So you can go really nice and fast. 
As long as your back stays down and in neutral, or you can slow it down in the full plank position, or if you want, you can then just go gently with it. So, up onto your toes, exhale, exhale, drop down. Breathe in, relax it, exhale, and go again. If you feel like you need to carry on building that strength in the core, this is the best way for you to do it. Okay, so we're gonna go full, keep that shoulders back and down. Nice neutral back with good tempo. So we're doing grand, guys. We're getting there. We have got two more of these left and then even more exercise. We're doing grand, we're cracking on quite merrily here. Brilliant work. Right. Let's go. So again, choose the tempo that you want, but just make sure that your back is in neutral. Breathe in, choose the modification that is right for you, okay? Use the breath and the breathing to engage, engage the core properly. And if you're getting tired, drop down. Give it a second. Go again. This is all about how you continue to improve, get fitter, stronger. It's all about you guys. I thought it'd stop it. Right then, we've got one more round of these. And you're almost there. Mountain clue timers do make you puff a little bit. So apologies for my breathing. So if it's more comfortable for you to have your hands on the top of the box, put them there. But just make sure it doesn't feel too narrow in your shoulders that you end up rounding a little bit. Let's go. So, 40 seconds, let's go guys. So this is a core exercise, so use it, okay? Shoulders back and down. Nice neutral back. Exhale, use the core. Go with the speed that's good for you. We're halfway. Keep going. I'm here with you guys. Keep going. Knees up. Hips in the right position. Keep going. And we're done. Well done. Right then. Okay, we've got to do some quick unhooking here. Now, I'm going to even be kind to you here. Look. Let's pause this quickly so that even you've got time to unhook. Okay. And then we've got a chance to stand up and get everything in the right position quickly, okay? Mountain climbers make you puff anyway, so at least you can get your breath back. Okay, we're there. Let's go again. Okay, so remember with these ones, you can put in whatever weight you want. Okay, it's all about you. Okay, so three rounds of these guys, 20 seconds on each side. Breathe in, exhale up. This is quite a nice one for getting your breath regulated again. Breathe in, okay. Seven seconds this side, and then we're switching. Keep going. Last one this side, switch. And off we go. Now, you're also gonna find that you've got a better bend on one side than the other. Breathe in, exhale. So you'll feel more flexible down one side than the other. Breathe in, exhale up. Almost there. Done. Right, let's just hold it in the middle for 20 seconds. Take a breather. Have some water. Up we go again. Okay. Get your breath. Reset on the other side. And away we go. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. Okay, so remember, we've got a clock watch this time. You know what my time keeping is like. Dreadful. Okay, last one. Let's switch to the other side. Breathe in. Exhale up. So remember, engage that pelvic floor. Use those deep core muscles. We all want a shredded core, don't we? That nice TA definition down there. You look good in your bikini and your swim shorts then. Done. We've got one more round and we've cracked this workout, guys. I'm super proud of you. 
Okay, right then, 10 seconds. We're almost there. Good work. Okay, so three, two, one. Exhale up. Breathe in. Exhale. Exhale all the way. Breathe in. Use the core. Nice straight line. So we don't want any tipping forward, okay? So when we're going down to the side, we need to stay on that nice straight plane, okay? Dance with me. That means we're twisting. And that's not good for our back. Exhale up. Breathe in. Exhale. Keep going, guys. Five seconds. Last one. Guys, you have just cracked your eighth workout of your eight week challenge. I am so proud of you. Well done, you've worked so, so hard. You've got this a couple more times this week and then you'll have done the eight weeks fully or if you're mixing it up with some of the other workouts that we've done for this challenge, then put in whatever one you work with. So brilliant work, well done, super proud of you and give yourselves a good pat on the back. We'll see you soon.